Hello everybody, Dan Fitzpatrick, the AI educator here. So I'm going to show you how you can put your face into some images created by Midjourney and get some really cool results where you can create some AI images of yourself. And I'll show you some examples in a second. To get started, you need to have a Midjourney account and you need to be logged into Midjourney and Discord, which is um, how you access Midjourney. If you aren't and you haven't got a clue how to do any of that there is a link in the description below which is a great video tutorial on how to set up mid-journey and get started with that okay so pause the video and go and do that if you need to do that and then come back okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new channel in discord so on the left hand side here i'm just going to click the plus sign i'm going to click create my own i'm going to click for me and my friends and then I'm just going to call this face swap. Click create. And there we go. It's created our Discord channel. Now what I need to do is I need to add the face swap bot and the mid journey bot to this channel. So firstly, let's go add the mid journey bot. So the way you can do that, um, if you've already got mid journey, is if you go up to your private chat at the top you will have your mid journey bot there then i'm just going to click mid journey at the top here that's the title of this channel and it will give me an option here to add to server so i'm going to click add to server then i'm going to go down to the bottom where it says select a server and i am going to choose my face swap server click continue click authorize going to ironically ask if I'm a human I click yes and I go to face swap and there we go and you can see there it says everyone welcome mid journey bot so mid journey is now a part of this channel so now I want to do what I need to do is add the face swap so I'm going to go to this link here again this link is in the description for this video just below so you can just go click that link and it will take you to this page now in order to get to this page you'll have to be signed into discord so if you've gone through the process so far that will already be the case so this link will take you to this page which is the insight face swap bot and then i can add this to my server so i'm going to click the drop down and again i'm going to select face swap click continue click authorize tell it i'm a human and then i'm going to go to the face swap page and you can see there it says inside face swap hopped into the server so now i've got both of my bots into this channel so what i need to do is i need to create an image now this will be the image that i'm gonna swap uh, my face into all right so let me create an image so the image i want i'm going to use mid journey to create the image so my prompt is going to be forward slash imagine and let's say so you need to kind of describe yourself as well because when if when you swap your face in you, you're going to want it to look as much like you as possible so when you're doing your prompt here if it's not going to look like you at the start but you want to try and get it to look as much like you as possible so let's say um a man with a ginger beard because i've got a ginger beard um riding harley davidson motorbike because I've always wanted a Harley Davidson motorbike um, and I don't have one so <laughs> there's a way of making my dreams come true so I want that to be photorealistic um, detailed yeah let's leave it like that click submit and now mid journey is going to create that image for me and while mid journey is creating that image for me what i need to do is i need to upload my photograph into the the inside face swap bot so that it knows to swap my face so in order to do that if you click forward slash i'm going to click the option save id 
and it asks you to give it a name. I'm just going to call this Dan because that's my name. And then I need to upload the image of me. So I'm going to click this image and then I'm going to find the image of me. Click open and there it is. And then enter. And it will. There we go. It's created my image in inside face swap. Now, while I've done that, the mid journey images have been being created and here we go. So I've got four of them here. So I need to select one of these images. So let's say I'm going to select number two. Number two is pretty cool. So I'm going to click. So up two, so U two. So I'm going to upscale it so that it becomes a bigger picture. And there it is. Now, simply all I need to do is right click on that picture, go down to apps and click in swapper. Once I click in swapper, it's going to take the image of myself that I uploaded and swap it with the face of this guy on the image. And there we go. You can see it has put my face on there. Um, looks pretty good, actually. I'd love to have that much hair again. Uh, and I don't have any tattoos. Um, a bit bigger than the guy on the, the bike, but yeah, it looks really good. Um, I found that if you then right click and, and go to app apps in swapper again on the on the new image, it, uh, it kind of gets a little bit more accurate, and you can keep doing that to get more and more accurate on it. Um, but that looks pretty good. Now, if you click on it and then click open in browser, it'll bring up the the high definition version of it and you can just right click click save image as and you will be able to save that image and use it elsewhere playing around with it a bit recently and playing around with the prompt getting it to look like me as much as possible uh, these images on the screen here are what i achieved uh, these two which i've now made it my my profile banner and profile picture so have a go yourself and let me know how you get along look forward to seeing your images Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.